The stupid rabbit go into the water. Stay here. Rabbit meat. Oh no, not in the... I got feral flesh. Ah. Hello gamers, I'm Martuari and welcome back to another episode of Conan Exiles and yeah, I think it's time to check a few things out because uh, last time I played I built this little house here. It's a start, but I will have to finish it. But when when uh, night fell, I, I, I kind of noticed a few lights in the area, like there was a light, a campfire from up there, but there was also a campfire from that tower up there. And one from that tower up there. And a few more campfires in the area actually. So I have no idea what that is. I think we will have to go check that out at some point. But for the time being I think I'm going to be uh, expanding on my little house here. What I want is first of all I want a bedroll. Uh, I'm hoping that the bedroll is something similar to the sleeping bag in Ark Survival Evolved. As in... That it will allow you to uh, respawn right here when you die. So what do I need for that? I need more fiber, branches and twine. I think I have enough twine. I think I have a few branches. So it's fiber I need. Time to go uh, collect some fiber. Which uh, I hope will have respawned by now in this area. Yes. Uh, am I starving again? Why? Uh, let's go steal some uh, some eggs. I quickly eat the eggs. Oh. No, this isn't what I wanted. Stack it. There. I have some food, which is quite awesome now. Uh, I need to continue because I need uh, fiber and... I need lots of fiber because I want to make myself a campfire too. I want to check out the campfire. I'm hoping that it will allow me to... Uh, to cook meat at some point, which uh, will be a little bit more tasty than the spoiled meat I already ate in game. Uh, let me check quickly. Uh, what do I need? I can craft one bedroll, which is awesome. And next up, I want to craft uh, craft a uh, a campfire. For that, I need thirty. I need branches. I thought I had plenty of branches. I don't. I need branches and I need stone. There is a branch. This is a branch. This is a branch. Lots more branches. A few stone. How many did I need actually? Campfire. I can craft a campfire, yes. Now the question is, do I have to place those inside my building? I think I will... I will do that to start with. I'm not quite sure. Uh, well, let's first check if that works at all. And... Oh, there is a campfire. A small campfire for cooking and keeping worm. Why does it... Drop? Take all. Oh no, I will have to put it on my hotbar probably. This one, yes, like that. This one, yes, like that. And now, I press 4, gives me a little campfire. It's a very small campfire. There. 3 is my sleeping bag. My bedroll. There. Hold for more options. What does it say? Interact with the bedroll. Spawn point updated. Is that it? Dismantle. Cancel. Spawn point updated. Okay. Campfire. I press the E. What do I get? Oh. A mixer. It needs wood. Do I have meat? Some kind of meat? Let's see. It needs wood, right? Oh no, the fuel is up there. Okay, it needs... Come on, this is wood, right? I 
can do that. Hide, iron stone, putrid meat, bark, feral flesh meat. Let's try that. So, if I turn that on, what happens? Shredded roasts. Oh, nice. I need more wood. So this is healthier than the normal. Raw flesh harvested from small bells. Low grade consumable ingredient. This is low grade consumable and ingredients. Okay, I need I need more wood. Gonna chop some trees. And get some wood. Also, why not check? Maybe some eggs have respawned. Nah, no eggs. Done. What does it say? One. Place fuel. Two. Place meat. Split. Double click works. On. So this is red sh shredded roast. Tough chewy meat that spoils quickly. Potential to scavenger scavenged foods or raw meat. This gamey meat is hard on the teeth and on the palate. The Taverns of the great cities are known using this type of meat for stewing through in solidar in its murder. Yeah, okay. Nothing much I will be able to do with those. Let me check. Um, I have shelter, that's no problem. I. Attributes. Uh, let's check the stuff we can cook. What can we cook actually? Uh, I was kind of hoping... Oh, yeah, this is something I will have to make. I think if I can make one of these, I will be able to make other stuff. Offerings, the Ankh, and some food. At least, that's how I think these things work. A repair hammer, I have no idea what it is. The sealed water skin. Yes, I definitely need a sealed water skin as well. Um, can I make a sealed water skin? Big question. Well, I can. I already have one. Now, can I fill that? Can I? Uh, how? Not enough resources. Strange. I thought I would be able to use that. Apparently, I can't. Uh, the campfire. The campfire has been burning everything it has. Does it make something out of the putrid meat? No. Then I turn it off. Does it cook the handful of insects? Who knows? I don't know for sure. But maybe if I put one of these back in? Maybe add some more? Seeds. I don't think this will make anything. Nope, turn off. Uh, what's next? So I am pretty, pretty safe here. Uh, I could make myself a sword. I could make myself a shield. For which I will need stone, but I kind of would love to check this. Lots of twine, lots of wood and lots of stone. I should be able to find stone in the area. This should be no problem.
Resources do respawn, but I have the impression that they don't respawn all that fast. 300 stone. It will take me a while to get 300 stone. Actually, I already got 25. Oh, look, a rabbit. I'm still scared that things will attack me. I hear plenty of noises and I, I don't really feel confident yet. I do want to kill the rabbit though. The stupid rabbit go into the water. Stay here. Rabbit meat. Oh no, not in the... I got feral flesh. Ah. Okay. Got myself some more stone. I'm not sure I have enough. Uh, campfire. Uh, no, I don't. Oh, yes. I'm missing one stone. <laughs> oh, that's funny. So, uh, I need stone. What else do I need for this? I need 160 wood and lots of twine. Can I make lots of twine? I uh, should be able to make five more, I think. Wood. Next up, wood. So, tree chopping. And there you go. I think I should have enough... Uh, enough wood as well. Twine, wood. And the stone I have in my little building here. Uh, don't tell me I'm missing one stone. Yes, I am. Okay, now I think I should have enough. Let's check. Pick up the branches along the road. Twine. Oh yeah, twine is what I need. Yeah. I don't think I have enough uh, fiber for twine. Let me check. Uh, twine, twine, twine. Twine is up here. Craft farmer. I need... I thought I need 25 twine. So I don't have enough yet. Okay, now I think I have enough materials to craft whatever I need. And what I was, what I was mentioning earlier is, is this, look, night is starting to fall. And in the distance I see some fires, some campfires. There is one up there at the bottom. There is one up top, a big fire. There was one at this tower too earlier. And there was even one pretty close to my base, which was up there. So, I think I'm going to be... Heading into my little building. There. And check this. I should... Oh, I'm carrying too much. How the heck am I gonna make all this then? branches I need the rest of the stuff how the heck am I gonna make this so I need 360 stone I have 300 on me uh, maybe I should put this one there indeed and ah, this one broke too what else do I need? Hide. How much does it weigh? 4.20. Can I now finally make it? Yes. Ooh, it's big. Ooh, it's big. Um... So I'm gonna place it. Six. It's actually pretty big. Overlapping with another object or terrain. I want it next to my building actually, it would be nice. 
overlapping with another building of or terrain. Can I just place it like this? Oh yeah! I got it! My little shrine! No, what can I do here? Nothing. I need... What's this? Lingering essence. No idea. Lingering essence. Hmm. Some stone and some branches. Let me check if I have that. Uh, Shrine of Mitra. I have stone. I'm going to check if I have some branches. Uh, I, I just noticed that I... That I kind of placed it incorrectly. Should have turned it. I think I still have stone in here. I still have branches too. Nice. Let's see. I have no idea what it does. No idea what it should give me, but I'm gonna try it. I'm definitely gonna try it. Here we are. Stone. Plenty of stone. Branches. Plenty of branches. Can I now craft one of these? Yes. The rest I can craft because I need lingering essences. Whatever that might be. I have no idea yet. So what's the next step in evolution is sword and shield. Heavy and widely hammer for repairing structures. Oh yeah, I need that to repair my, uh, my structures. Oh look, it did make something. Spiritual residue for left on religious altars. No idea. Really no idea at all. Yeah, craft them all. Craft them all. And what is this now? Info. Mitra would, f would have folks stand upright before him, not crawling or on their bellies like worms. The bottom part of the dead right on Mitra, when one dies, this vessel body is usually consigned to the flames in a rite that was born of the legend of the Phoenix. It is said that cleansing the body with fire, a new soul can be reborn from the ashes. However, before a body is burned, it is ritually purified using an ankh of Mitra. The body is struck with the ankh to push out any trace of spirit left trapped within the body, preventing the corpse from rising again and sealing it against necromancy. Hmm, no idea. Maybe we have to, to make more stuff in here in order to get plenty of these, which will maybe do something. I have no idea. Or maybe I should even leave those in. Check. Craft some stuff. Let, let it just uh, go. Meanwhile, it's time to uh, probably wrap up today's episode. Yes, we did. We did some great things here. We have uh, our shrine. Can I kneel? Oh, there is nothing like social. No social things. Okay. Then I'll just have to use the vanity thing. Oh, look at this. No, not like that. Why are you stepping on that thing? Yes. Walk back a little bit. There we go. Well, I think uh, this will be the end of today's episode. Uh, we did some stuff. We built this little shrine and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to hit the thumbs up button. And if you have comments or suggestions, you can post those in the comment section below the video. Check out the description as well. That's where you'll find links to uh, my social, social media pages, links to our Patreon page where you can help support us and maybe join us in the future on one of our uh, Patreon servers. And that's also where you'll find links to uh, my social media pages, the other crazy folks and the creative misses guys and lots of other interesting stuff while you're there. Please also subscribe to the channel. Not only do you help me reach my next subscriber goal, but you will also get notified when I post new content to the channel. 
That being said, it's time to wrap up today's episode. Until next time, have fun and stay safe. Bye.